Ever wonder how to set goals with your students? As educators, we know that it's important, but how do you actually help your students make goals? In today's video, I'm sharing with you the steps that I take to help my students set goals. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I share tips on how to run an effective and efficient classroom so that you have time to teach. The two biggest things that you have to do when helping students set goal is first to model. You have to model how to actually brainstorm and create a goal and write a goal. And then you have to model how to the steps that they need to take in order to achieve the goal. The second thing, you have to set time to revisit the goals. If you just make the goal and then don't ever go back to it again, not only do you forget as the teacher, but the students of course are going to forget about the goals they set. So you have to make sure that you cut out time in your day to where you can revisit those goals. I've also found that it is a lot easier for students to make goals when they see lots and lots of examples. There are three types of goals that I have my students set. An academic goal, a behavior goal, and a personal goal, which we call our home goal. I like to start with the personal home goal because it's just a little bit easier for a student to try goal setting. There's a little more buy-in because it's a little more personal to them. Those are things like maybe they play a sport or they have a talent or hobby that they want to work on. It could be a health or family goal, chores, those types of things. Yes, as the teacher, it's harder to really know if your students are doing those goals, but it just kind of gets the, your students' feet wet when it comes to making goals. Obviously, we know academic goals are important with all of the subject areas and things like writing neatly, checking over your work, using your reading and math strategies. Academic goals tend to be the types of goals that teachers and students set in classrooms, but I think it's also important for students to work on behavior type goals. Goals can be things like using time wisely, keeping their area neat, friendship type goals, time management, raising their hand to speak, transitioning quickly, following directions the first time, all of those routines and procedures that you go over at the beginning of the year when students are not maybe meeting those to your expectations, you can have those students set those types of behavior goals. Now, I do think it's very important for students to actually choose their own goals, but there is nothing wrong with you as the teacher having a conversation with them saying, what are some things that you wanna work on? When you talk about what goals are, you don't want to choose goals you're good at, you wanna choose something you're gonna to work toward. It's also important to make sure students are making specific goals. We don't want them making, I wanna get better in math, which is generally what they tend to go to first when they're thinking about setting a goal. So this is kind of how the conversation goes. When I have a student who says, I wanna get better in math. Okay, what specifically do you wanna get better at? Is there a certain skill? Do you wanna master your multiplication facts? Are you wanting to make sure you do better on math tests? Are you wanting to make sure you're showing your work? I give those examples to help them narrow down their topic. And then you wanna make sure that your students give that a time frame to meet the goal. Telling the students to meet this goal by the end of the year is really too long of a time. If you have younger students, you may want to do a week long goal or sometimes even a day long goal, depending on the students. But for fourth graders, they actually can do well with about a month long goal. And then we do have some quarter long goals, especially when it comes to our mastering our multiplication facts and things like that. After students have set their goal, the next thing for them to do is to figure out strategies to help them achieve their goal. I tell my students, just like we have strategies to help us in reading and we have strategies to help us solve a math problem, we also need strategies to help us meet our goals. So for example, if a student says they want to read more, I help them narrow that focus down to, well, how many books do you want to read in a month? So if they say, I will read five books by the end of January, then I say, okay, what are the steps you need to do? Let's break it down. What do you need to do each day or each week in order to meet that goal by the end of the month? And so typically we th think about a daily task. So, okay, you want to read 30 minutes before bed each night. So that's one of your strategies to help you reach your goal. And then the next one, maybe let's say you're going to visit the library and get new books each week. So now you have two strategies that are going to help you meet your month long goal. After students have set their goal, they've come up with some strategies. I like to give my students a way to track their goals 
and check off each day or each week that they're making progress towards their goal. And I make sure that that time is set aside one day during our morning meeting. We have Wednesday is typically our goals day where we update our trackers, we check in with each other. That gives me time to walk around and see how students are progressing towards their goals. You have to set time aside for students to actually work on those goals. Once I started taking these steps with my students to help them create and work on goals, we actually saw progress towards the goals. I'll be honest, typically before I started doing this, we would make goals and then we wouldn't talk about them again until the end of the nine weeks when report cards came around. But making sure that students know how to achieve their goal with strategies and giving them time to check in daily or weekly allows them to keep those goals in the front of their mind. If you think about us as adults, when if we don't see it or if it's not on the top of our to-do list, we will forget about it. Kids will too. I've created a teaching resource all about this goal set. I have the presentation slides for you to teach through to teach your students what are goals, why do we make goals, and then move them through the process of setting goals, creating strategies, tracking it, and all that. I have all of the tracking sheets with a variety of things, all for you to use to help your students set goals. This is perfect for the new year when you come back after winter break and want to set goals to make the second half of your school year successful. It's also great for the beginning of the school year when you're wanting to set those goals to set up that year to be successful. I have the link to this goal setting pack in my TPT store. It's down in the description box below. Thanks for watching and happy goal setting.